Hey there, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you how to integrate Monday.com with the Outlook calendar functionality. So my previous video was on Outlook emails. This one's going to be on Outlook calendar. And perhaps this one is even more useful than the email integrations, if you ask me. So I'm going to create, again, I always do this from scratch so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to create a new board from scratch. Let's just call it Outlook calendar. Create board. And the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to rename these just so I can show you. It's going to make more sense in a second. So this is going to be created on in Outlook. And this one's going to be created in Monday. All right. So we're, first, we've got integrations. You're going to type in Outlook into the search bar. Click on Outlook calendar this time as opposed to Outlook. And uh, I will post a little video on how that integration works. I've already done it before. So once you follow that little video, come back to me here. Okay, and here's how to actually attach your uh, account, your Outlook account with monday.com. So you're gonna click on integrate. You're going to search for Outlook. You're gonna click on Outlook and then pick any of these, it's not going to matter. Click on one that's going to ask you to connect your Outlook account. Connect. You do have to have a business account for this. I'm going to blur some stuff out. Or it automatically has my information. Oh, no, it doesn't. All right. Uh, I'm going to pause the video while I pull up my uh, password manager. Put in your password. Permissions required. Accept. Wait for the loading screen. It's slower than expected. All right, once it goes through, you are now connected. Okay, so now we are back here after connecting our accounts. You can see there's three different items. I, I personally like the first one and the third one. So there's basically two ways you can create things to sync with your Outlook calendar. You can do it uh, while, by creating an item on Monday, or you can do it by creating an item on your calendar. So let's start with the one that I think is more useful. So that's going to be uh, creating an item in Monday and then having it appear on your calendar. So we're going to click on that first option. Click on your account. It says when an item is created or updated, create an event. So this event is going to be the thing that appears in your actual calendar, which I will show you here in a second. So the start time is going to be the date column on your board, and you're not going to pick an end time. Uh, you can do a start and end time on your with two different date columns if you want to. Totally unnecessary. So now we're going to make the subject the name of the item on your board, and then I'm just going to leave the body blank. So I'm just going to be showing you how to do this for a basic deadline. So basically what you're going to be wanting to do here is create an item on your board. That item on your board uh, is a deadline, and you want it to show up on your Outlook calendar. Let's just say, for example, you're one of those people that tracks everything on their calendar. I do a lot of that. So I am now going to <clears throat> excuse me, create an item in Monday and have it appear on my board. Let me delete these so that we don't get confused. And I'm going to use the week of April 11th because it doesn't have any client information on there. So I can safely click on that week on my calendar. So this is going to be an important deadline that is due. That's the name of the item. You're going to see you have this Outlook calendar. It's going to be creating the item on your calendar. So now let's pick the date it's due. Again, I'm going to pick April, the week of April 11th just because it's nice and clean. And I'm just going to say it's due anytime on April 12th. You heard that little uh, Outlook uh, reminder. All right. So oh, there it is. All right. So now it's created on the 12th. So let's say you actually wanted, you know, let's just say, okay, I, it's not doing the 12th anymore. It's actually do we want to get it to the, the boss one day earlier. You click on the 11th. And 
you give it a minute, it will move on the calendar here in a second. So there it is. Now it's on the 11th. So that really is that easy. You can have it set to a specific time if you want to. So let's say it's due, you want it due at 9 a.m. You can change this, set it to 9 a.m., and it will appear at 9 a.m. Okay. And it should be a half hour. There it is. Okay. So that's how you create items in Monday. I think this is the more useful of the, the two methods, but you can do it the other way around as well. Let's say you have a big list of items that you just want to get onto your Outlook calendar. Uh, let's delete these three again, make it nice and clean. And then, oops, we're going to set up another integration. Again, Outlook. This time we're going to have, when an item is created on the calendar, we're going to create a new item. So this is the opposite way around. Let's just say you're on your calendar, filling out deadlines, but you want it to also appear on Monday uh, so you can track it in both places. Click on your email account, create your item. Uh, the item update is going to be, or I don't, I don't usually use item update. I use the name. The name is going to be the subject of the calendar invite. Leave status blank. And then date will be, I usually pick the start time of the event. And then leave the person blank. You can set all that once it pops up. So this is going to pop up in my created in Outlook group as opposed to my created in Monday group. And we're going to hit add to board. So now we've got, it, now it's going to appear here. So let me show you how that works. So we're going to create, uh, oh, let me drag it over my box, uh, another deadline created in Outlook, and then we're going to start it at 9 a.m. Actually, let's, let's start at 10, so it's a little different than the other one. We'll start at 10. So now give it a second, and there it is. So I think this is one of the easier integrations to get a hold of, uh, to get a handle on, because there's only three options. The other option is to have it set as a certain person, then it'll appear on your calendar, uh, as opposed to all. Uh, but this is a really easy way to manage your deadlines. Because uh, you can do it off of Monday. You can do it off of Outlook. You can do it off of both. It'll appear here. It's sortable. You can make comments. You can do anything else you want to do with it in here. And you can, of course, integrate it with all your other additional automations. You can set it up so that you get... Uh, I showed you how to the emails before. You can have it so that you have a due date. And then if you want to have an email sent to you 24 hours before it's due, you can do that. I, it's, that's really the, the joy of Monday is you can combine all these different systems together. I'm showing you how to do each piece individually because that's the only way to make YouTube videos about it. It'd be really hard for me to show you every possibility I, in a, a, a complete board. Although at some point I would like to just create sort of a master boards and share them. I, that is on my list of things to do. I'm going to start putting out more Monday videos because I use this I uh, software a lot. It's a fantastic piece of software. Uh, I hope this was useful. Let me know if you have any questions. I, I, I think that this one is one of the more easy ones to grasp. So it's just not that many options. But of course, you can tweak all those different boxes. You can add more columns to have more information. I personally think just having the name of the deadline on the board is good enough because then you can always just start conversations and you know add files and uh, do what you need to do here. So I don't really think it requires much more additional automation to, in the creation process. But that's obviously personal preference. All right. Thanks. Bye.